John, Gotti, the third, JG3, MMA, you got your hind parts beat relentlessly by a 46-year-old man, and you don't know what to do with yourself now. You've been crying, you all in your vag, and we done, we done had to listen to you cry the whole time, man, just because the man beat you up and played with you and embarrassed you, and now you don't know what to do with your little self. And now you over there throwing fits and kicking over your teddy bears in your room and throwing cups of liquor at the wall and, and, and put, punching holes in the hotel wall saying you got the money to pay for it. You smoking in the hotel, you being unruly out here, man. You really cutting up, man. All because you let that 46-year-old undersized, non-in-shape old man beat you like a pony, man, like a pinata out here. Word on the street, you done fired your driver, man. They say you just taking it out on everybody, man. They say you out here committing DV situations. You out here buying extra cartons of eggs when you go to the grocery store so you can throw them at people because you feel some type of way, man. They say that you, when you went shopping for shoes, you kicked over the top row of shoes, man. That's out of pocket, man. You dead wrong. You shouldn't have did that, man. Um, your beef is with Floyd, man. That, that man beat you up. Yeah, your driver didn't beat you up. The, the Domino's pizza delivery guy did not beat you up, sir. Floyd did. Yeah, that was Floyd. And you had every chance to try to beat him back up in the ring, but you got gunshot because you kept missing, and he kept popping you all in your mouth. You get what I'm saying? So now your little, you know, your little jaw hurt, your little head hurt, and you out here thinking you your grandfather. And don't nobody in the world look at you like you your grandfather at all. Don't nobody even look at you like you your father. You ain't John Gotti, you John Gotti the third, beloved. It's a big old difference. And ain't nobody tripping off you. You talking about, oh, you an enemy for life, bro. Don't nobody care about being your enemy, bro. Nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got Conor McGregor backing you up. Man, boy drunk, man. It's already, it's already understood, boy drunk. That's all that's going on. Boy is drunk, man. <laughs> yeah, that's all that is, man. Yeah, he, he off the... um proper 14 whiskey uh on the rocks and he done came to defend uh uh his fellow um whatever the fuck y'all look more alike than you and floyd so i guess you know whatever whatever y'all picking sides and all that both of y'all drunk um you solve and he slow you know what i'm saying both of y'all do mma you solve he slow the solve slow crew you know what i'm saying of all the proper 14 whiskey drinks uh, hitting bars, uh, y'all on a bar tour across the whole United States of America, man. Then y'all gonna take it over to Dublin, Ireland, man, and get drunk some more and beat up some more cab drivers, man, because y'all married that Floyd beat both of y'all up. <laughs> the old man beat both of y'all up, man, and made fun of y'all. And now y'all all in y'all little vags, man. All y'all little, y'all little uh, booty shorts is digging in y'all little uh, upper legs and all that. And y'all real infuriated. And y'all got a lot of uh, emotional stress going on. With that being said, man, <laughs> uh, don't know why I care about you, man. You ain't your grandfather. And your grandfather got played with in prison, man. He wasn't in there laying down no law. And that ain't hard to figure out. He was in the prison with everybody else. He wasn't on PC. You dig? You would have went on PC because you would have got in your little vag. You dig? And you can't take your ass whooping like a man. Stop crying. JG3. MMA, you and the little drunk boy, y'all get together, y'all come up with a new liquor. Call that, call it punch drunk. You get what I'm saying? Y'all get money out here. Gone. Love.